um, I'm not exactly sure why um, UC Davis and Erie have such a good relationship, but um, it's, it may have something to do with both of them hire um, very good rice scientists, and so uh, there is quite a few people who have, have gone in both directions, uh, from UC Davis to Erie and, and back to UC Davis from Erie, and in my case, uh, multiple times back and forth. And uh, one of the reasons, I think, is that um, rice is an, an important crop in California, and so there are quite a few scientists on the campus who, uh, who are interested in rice and who get uh, funding to work on rice. So that, that's led to a natural um, a partnership with Erie. Um, the, the other thing I think is that, um, you know, it is um, a place which is quite well known for, uh, for education in plant breeding and, and not only plant breeding but in, in all aspects of agricultural science. And so I think it's been a, a natural place to, to look for uh, opportunities for higher studies for some of the good students here as well as um, hiring some of the uh, postdocs and other people who have been trained at the university. So uh, I think that's th those are some of the reasons why there's been a good relationship with UC Davis. It also is um, one part of the U.S. which has a fairly mild climate, so it's probably easier for people from the tropics to, to adjust to. So that may be another aspect that makes it an attractive place.